Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking dishwashers today and in today's video, the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your drain hose. Let's get started. All right, DIYers in the kitchen now. Here's a Whirlpool dishwasher. Again, the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your drain hose. Real quick, scrolling above is a link to a video that talks about the most common causes that lead to leaks underneath your dishwasher, and one of which is your drain hose. However, there are additional parts. You may find that video helpful. However, right to it, we are going to come underneath our sink and we are going to unplug the dishwasher as well as garbage disposal. And your outlet should be within close proximity. And again, we are going to unplug the dishwasher and garbage disposal. Coming down below, I've got a flashlight in place. We have this lower panel that we have to remove, a Phillips screw on the left-hand side and a Phillips screw on the far right. Go ahead and remove those. After removing the screws, go ahead and push your finger in and slide the panel over. Go all the way to the bottom and slide it outward. You'll notice the upper portion is behind the upper panel flap there, and we need to pull this out and under as shown here. Go ahead and set that in a safe location. And from here, we have much better access to everything underneath, and there is our drain hose. Let's go ahead and grab some pliers and remove that clamp. However, first, I'm gonna place something down below because that will leak some water. At this point, I have placed the DIY Raptor towel below the dishwasher, and I've got a pair of pliers, and I'm going to compress that clamp. As I compress this, I'm going to shift it off or rearward. And just be careful. You may have to just kind of jiggle it and turn it left and right. And again, just carefully shift this rearward. And don't tug too much because you don't want the hose coming off yet. As you can see, it's coming off. And you just want it rearward to the point when you release it, it's not going to grab on the inner plastic of the housing where the impeller is. Next, go ahead and grab something you find feasible to catch the water. We are going to shift this under the dishwasher and directly underneath the drain hose connection. At this point, we're all ready to pull the drain hose off the connection. And you'll just carefully rotate it until it comes free and again it's going to leak some water from here let all the water drain out you can actually rest the drain hose inside the container or whatever you are using to catch the water our goal is to keep it as dry and clean as possible let that drain for about five to ten minutes and real quick i change camera angles you will notice water is coming out of the dishwasher portion as well again just be patient allow it all to drip out to alleviate a mess while that drains we are going to go underneath the sink i have placed a bowl we are going to compress this clamp and shift it rearward Carefully pull this hose off the garbage disposal. And this might leak as well, so be aware of that. I'll carefully position that to flow into the bowl. And in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to install a reverse osmosis system, definitely check out the link scrolling above. We'll let this drain for a while. And as you let that water drain out, it is very important that you do not run your sink water because at this point you have a wide open hole for water to flow out and Onto your floor, that would not be good. Take note of how this side is positioned. It is straight. On the opposite end, there is an elbow shape or L shape. And with that said, it is going to be easier to pull from the opposite end or the end that connects to the lower portion of the dishwasher. In other words, this part is going to be pulled up and through the hole. And as you do that, be very careful that you do not harm anything in the process. Back up top, and if you're curious how much water came out, not much at all. Going back down below, again, we are going to carefully pull the drain hose out from this side. And again, just be very careful. You may need to pull it a couple inches on this end, go to the opposite side, feed it through, and continue this process until it's all the way through. Again, there's the shape of this. A lot more unfriendly to get through a small hole than the other side. Back down below the sink, it's also important to remove the clamp that secures this side of the hose to the garbage disposal. That might not fit through that upper hole in a friendly manner. And I was surprised at how friendly this was to remove. And there it is. Time to open up the new drain hose. Here is all the information for your convenience. New drain hose in position. The old one is shifted aside and don't really have a choice. We are going to have to insert this portion first underneath the sink up at that upper hole. Elbow portion in hand, just feed it through the hole. Be very careful as you do this. You do not want to harm anything. And 
feed it all the way through to the bottom portion of the dishwasher. Back down below the dishwasher, and as you can see, the new drain hose is in position. I've also installed that clamp. All we'll do now is connect the drain hose to the connection point. At this point, the hose is properly installed on the connection. It's very important that this rubber fitting here is pressed in place. On the back side, you have plastic tabs. You want to push this hose on until this rubber boot is flush with those tabs. After that, go ahead and compress the clamp and shift it into place to lock this hose on the fitting and create that watertight seal. To the opposite side, make sure your clamp is on. Carefully shift this in place and secure it on the garbage disposal. You've got these ribs. Carefully shift this all the way flush with the garbage disposal. Compress this clamp and secure it. And a quick tip, in the event that it is touching any of your water lines and you do not want that, you can actually carefully shift this portion ever so slightly. Do not damage it so it's not touching any of your other plumbing. After securing this hose to the garbage disposal, just verify you're not leaving any parts or tools behind. It's a good time to vacuum underneath here. We also plug the unit back in, both garbage disposal and dishwasher. From here, we are going to run a test cycle to verify no leaks and verify no leaks at this fitting and down below where it connects to the lower portion of the dishwasher. And as this is running, we are going to keep that lower plate removed and do not allow any pets or family members to get close to the dishwasher. That is for your safety and those that live with you. Dishwasher is now running. We'll keep you posted on any leaks. system is draining as you can see water is coming into the garbage disposal down below and again just verify no leaks at the connection points so far so good all right DIYers on the drying portion of this cycle all went well no leaks hopefully this helps hey do us a favor below the video you will see that thumbs up icon click on that like the video subscribe to the channel definitely ring your YouTube bell that would be very helpful to us we'd really appreciate it thanks again for watching Last thing we will do is re-secure that lower panel.